I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a multiple choice question on rate of change. The question here is, a water trough is 10 meters long and cross section has the shape of an isosceles triangle that is 1 meter across at the top and 50 centimeter high. The trough is being filled with water at the rate of 0.4 meter cube per minute. How fast will the water level rise when water is 40 centimeter deep? You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So what we are given here is that we have a water trough. Let me design, show this uh, with the help of a diagram. So we'll make a slightly bigger diagram of this triangle since we need to work out the area and uh, yeah so let's just goes like this okay that is an isosceles triangle where these sides are equal so if these sides are equal and if I draw a perpendicular from here to the base we're considering that to be the base it is going to split this base into equal parts so what we are given here is that the length is 10 meters. So this is 10 meters. Okay. Shape of isosceles triangle that is 1 meter across. So the total length is 1 meter. So this is 1 meter across. So 1 half will be the other side. Okay. 1 meter across. That means 0.5 meters at the top and 50 centimeter high so this is also 50 centimeters also half when I wrote it in meters let me write this also as 0.5 which is half right okay the trough is being filled with water at the rate of 0.4 so we are given rate of change of volume with time is 0 0.4 meter cube per minute how fast will the water level rise when water is 40 centimeters, right? That means 0.4 meters deep. So we want to find dH dt when height is equal to 0 0.4. Is that okay? That is what the question is. So volume is equals to half base times height for the triangle uh, and times the length L. Now we have two variable base and height so at any instance let us say base is this for us so if this is the base then half of it will be the base of this triangle is it okay okay where h is the height so what you observe here is that we have a right triangle two similar right triangles ratio of their sides is constant so we could relate them half and half is kind of one is it okay so so what we have here is height over half of base is equals to half over half which is one and that gives us that uh, if i just cross multiply so, and or i could take two here so we can write two times height is equals to base so that is kind of the relation which we have replacing these values we get volume equals to half basis two times height times height and the length is fixed to 10 perfect so that gives us 2 and 2 cancel 10 h square that's the volume now we can differentiate this with respect to time right so we'll do differentiate with respect to time that gives us dv dt equals to twice h which is 20 h dh dt correct 20 h dh dt so from here we can find what dh dt is right so dh dt dh dt is indeed equals to 1 over 20 h times dv dt perfect 
Now you can always substitute all these values to find rate of change of height when height is 0.4. So we know all the values. So 1 over 20 times 0 0.4. DVDT is 0 0.4, right? Now 0 0.4, 0 0.4 cancel. So you get 1 over 20 in decimals. Uh, we have to find this answer. So we'll divide 1 by 20, right? So 1 divided by 20 gives us in decimals 0 0.05 so we get 0 0.05 as the answer which is option A for us correct so that is how you could actually solve this question um, on rate of change I hope you appreciate it you can always uh, share my videos feel free to post questions uh, like this one which some subscriber have placed I'm very grateful for all of you for the words of encouragement and watching my videos. Thank you and all the best.